So you're neutral with no army? I. Doesn't that make you nervous in such wild times? No, laddie. My defense budget is larger than you think. How large? Pretty much as large as that guy. This would be a jolly good weapon to use against friend. Uh, bad people. Why spend a penny on defense when that guy won't let anyone get near his island? Damn, if that's the case, I'm not lifting a finger ever again. Dad is like, he's got my back. <laughs> Alpha, Alpha, Delta, Minor, Niner. May I proceed? Roger. ooh -ah. More drink money then. Dink. When you're a smaller nation and your best buddies with a much larger nation, I guess this is a good point. Why spend anything on defense? The United States spent over $800 billion in 2021. I think we've all seen that statistic where it's like bigger than the next like nine countries combined, which the British are technically a part of that. However, they're still spending a lot. 48 billion British pounds. It's hard to see those numbers after reporting the US, but UK is in fourth place in the world spending on defense. They even spend more than Russia. So the top four countries are the US, China, India, and the UK. So if you're a tiny nation that is allied to one of these bigger guys, you're good. Thinking like Bhutan and Nepal. I mean, India and China have like a little rivalry going on anyways. I don't think either one of them would want the other to get more land. Must be nice spending zero on defense, but still have it. Hey, how you call me? The, the Netherlands. Netherlands. And how do you call me? Paises Bajos. How about you? What do you call me? Holland. Holland. Holland is only a part of me, but all right. Finally, we have Indonesia and Malaysia. What do they call the Netherlands? Be land uh, or Dutch. <laughs> I actually didn't even know that the Netherlands had so many drastically different names until I heard like a French person and a Spanish person refer to the Netherlands. I was like, what is Los Países Bajos? Although the French version is similar, but it is uh, significantly different. Les Pays but apparently across multiple cultures, we still accidentally refer to the Dutch as Holland. I know the Romance languages and even us in English say it too. That must hurt. That must be like if you're from the US and everyone just says, oh, you're a New Yorker? You're a Yankee? I've covered this before why Holland is used more often than just the Netherlands. This is a slightly different take though. The area called Holland made the biggest contribution to the entire nation's economy and wealth. So that might be part of the reason why so many parts of the world still just use Holland. Also, I've seen that a lot of Dutch sailors were coming from Holland and telling people around the world they were from Holland instead of the Netherlands. I'm so sad the world's heading towards another nuclear war. Oh, Japan's depressed. Boink, 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 boink. <laughs> pay attention to me says a very upset North Korea as they continue to press their red button that would happen recently North Korea was a little jealous that Ukraine and Russia was getting all the attention that they felt like they needed to draw some eyes back They're like that spoiled child as soon as they don't get all the attention they start pouting so recently once again North Korea has fired another powerful missile over Japan Last time they did this was 2017. I noticed though, it's difficult to like Google North Korean missile tests because they just do it so often. Like the correct year and month isn't even popping up. This is the farthest North Korean missile test they've ever done though. It did not just go over Japan. I feel like that was the main concern, but it went way out into the Pacific. And they're obviously going to continue to try to make these missile tests go further and further. You would think they would like warn people at the very least. Hey, we're just testing for your nuclear annihilation one day. It's not happening yet, just practicing. This is a good way to describe them too right here. What is an Anglo? Brought to you by Canada. Hello, and today we're going around asking people, what is an Anglo? Excuse me, sir, are you an Anglo? No, freak you, you leaf man. I ain't no Anglo. But you have parliamentary system based on Westminster system, right? Parliamentarism is everywhere. And you have common law justice system, right? Almost everyone does. Okay, but your official language and most prominent language is English, right? Not just English, but also Gaelic. We have it everywhere, on our signs. Government signs. Okay, so you can speak Gaelic? <sighs> Uh, no, I don't speak Gaelic because Britain was very evil and they forced English upon us and suppressed our language and stuff and lack of potatoes and everything. Okay, well then why don't you relearn Gaelic? As you can see here, Ireland is suffering from prolonged Anglo dysphoria. After self-identifying himself as Irish as his primary nationality for more than 101 years, such a shame. Okay, yeah, I can see why Ireland's gonna be triggered by this. So Irish Gaelic is recognized as the first official language of the Republic of Ireland. The other official language, which is also more commonly used, is English. Around 30% of the 3.5 million population they have speak Irish, but only 5% use it regularly. And unfortunately, this language has only been in a decline since the 1800s. I've reviewed this map several times, but as you can see, especially starting from the Great Hunger, 
things have really gone downhill. When the Irish lost their potatoes, they left, and the language is only kind of just in a couple of spots now in the country. Also, we should keep in mind Gaelic could also refer to Scotland. I guess I should say Irish Gaelic, unless we were just in Ireland right now. Wonder if we'll see a revival one day. What could Alaska and Wyoming possibly have in common? Both live in barren wastelands, and both have less than 750,000 people living in them. As you can see, they're clearly the exact same. Wyoming's gonna go to Alaska being like, you and I are not so different. So Wyoming is still the least populated state in all of the US, just over half a million, and Alaska is the third to least populated state. Only Vermont is in between them. But Alaska's numbers might be rising here. Maybe one will begin to pull away. As of 2022, the only states that have seen negative growth are Illinois, and then Mississippi, and West Virginia. West Virginia's losing a lot, though. Fastest growing state is Utah, which is not too far away from Wyoming. Maybe those people will cross the border one day. Also, don't forget that a lot of people forget these two places even exist, because as we just said, Wyoming has so few people living inside of it and then when it comes to just like maps in general people always forget to put Alaska look one of the top results for USA map when you google it doesn't even have Alaska on it or Hawaii for that matter the olden times what a great day to be free and alone with two seas to protect me this life of isolation suits me just fine chaos breaking out in the background those world wars look serious maybe my pals need me says America well it's not like helping my pals out just once is gonna ruin the isolationism I've worked so hard for modern times uh <laughs> the dog has a little hat. I think USA is just watching TikTok. Rumble, 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 rumble. China did thing. Yeah, what do? Fuck! This is an interesting take on USA's isolationism. I think a lot of people forget that was a big deal for us like a hundred years ago. I mean, technically during both world wars, although we did end up joining, we did attempt to just stay out of it. And the very moment the US decided to join WW2 was the moment that isolationism just disappeared. Because right when that was over, the Cold War began, and then even after the Cold War, we kept up doing things. Kind of a double-edged sword. 1939, invasion of Poland. Ciao, Germania, says Italy. All the while, the Soviet Union and the no-no Germans just carving up this country. A little Pokeball. Like the Breaking Bad reference here. Why you don't like Jew, asks Italy. You is part Jew. What? I am not. Oh, yeah. Hands him a piece of paper with some sort of family tree leading to... Oh, okay. From the OG Jerusalem, we went down to the Teutonic Order, to Prussia, to German Empire, to the no-no German... Oh, well, Weimar and the no-no Germans. Nine! That's all wrong! Scribbles it out and then shows Holy Roman Empire. Oh. Flash forward a year later to the invasion of France. Ha! <laughs> you inferior Frank. Papa! Germania, what does you do with your cousin? Italy shows them now another piece of paper, this time with Francia. There was a West Francia and an East Francia, which would end up leading to modern-day France. France and Germany. There was also a middle Francia, but that just like stopped. And then yeah, Germany created the, the little ball that was saying, Papa! Germany has crashed, run into unexpected in- wait, wait a second. See Germania, you is a hypocrite. Italy's gonna go join the allies now. <laughs> What? I've never seen this before. So after the fall of Charlemagne's empire, these three nations were created, or maybe four, but yeah, there was a West Francia, East Francia, and Middle Francia, and these would go on to be kind of like the origin stories, sometimes maybe the villain origin stories for some places. I would definitely agree, Germany and France are kind of like cousins, if not, you know, brothers at this point. And there were also a lot of tributary states that were involved in that on the outer edges. Good to see the brothers kind of come together uh, more in like modern times. Germany and France are friends again. October 12th, it's Spain Day, says Spain. Ninos, it's Day of Spain. Frick you, says the both of them. Portugal, it's Spain Day. It will be the day of pain if you don't shut up. We oui, mercy, says France. Andorra, it's d- and Andorra, where are you? Ah! UK! I should probably just leave him alone. Morocco! Wait, are you trying to oof my kids? Uh... Yeah. Nobody liking Hispania. I care about Hispaniola or whatever. Please frick off. I just love Latinx people and Latinx culture. <laughs> Spain will take any friend except for that friend, especially if you use this word. I didn't even realize, do they also use Latinx in Spain, France, and Italy? I, mean, I guess they could. I just thought that was more of a Western Hemisphere thing. So I unfortunately missed National Spain Day by one day. I still paid for it in the prices though, because everything was just so expensive. So this is a day commemorating Spain legacy worldwide, especially in Hispanic America. So I guess this is like an Independence Day for a country that 
usually is traditionally known for handing out independences. Is this what the colonial powers do since they don't have an independence day? The UK National Day is recognized on the 10th of February, or maybe the UK doesn't have a, an official national day, but they do certain things. So these two parts of Spain, especially Catalonia, too busy kind of angry with their papa to celebrate. And I'm not sure what's going on with the city-state of Andorra, but I'm assuming since they're so tiny, they're either hiding from Spain, they're scared of Spain, maybe they're getting sat on. And the UK is kind of in chaos ever since the Queen and their currency and things. Even before that, I think the UK was kind of in chaos. I don't think I mentioned I am in Spain right now. I forgot to say that. I'm gonna forever be mad that I missed this. But then again, it was on a Wednesday. Why was it on a Saturday? Explains why everything's so chaotic right now outside. Ah, uh, this is the best time of decade. Time to get rid of some people I don't like. Don't do that, screams the EU. Why you think so low of Russia? Russia, very good at multitask. Oh, so this is Russia's plan to get rid of people they don't like. Forcing them to join the Z. Was this his plan all along? Putin has been saying for a while that there's half a million people at the disposal to fight Ukraine as Russia has opened the floodgates to recruit foreign soldiers. This seems like something that could definitely backfire. Russia is definitely up to no good. Here's an old Congo country ball. Rubber production quota. One day left, says a sinister Belgium. <coughs> Wait a second. This one has an idea. Hi, Belgium. We are investigating colonial abuse. Why? Why are you asking that? Why? I'm not guilty. What arm? No. So a bunch of Congo balls came together to mimic an EU flag ball, basically. So Belgium did a lot of really, really horrible things in the Congo. They were pretty much forcing them to work or like really horrible things would happen to them. But with the EU doing an investigation, Belgium is just going to cry. I don't think they want the world to know what they did. And this is such a clever comic because the old flag of the Congo did look a lot like the EU's flag. I mean, it was a blue background with some yellow stars. There were, there were stars and then there was one giant star. This flag was only used for six years, though. I think I do prefer the new one, but that old one was perfect for that comic. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. America, 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 America! What? What is it? America, China's trying to steal my water in the South Sea! Okay, I'll help you, but you have to say it first. Say it! Say what? Say what? Say it. Say it. You know. No. Say it. Fine. You won war. Happy? Okay, I'll help you. What is that? Uh, it's air in a can. What want, Western pig dog, says China. <gasps> Not enough smog. Oh, he's he's blowing fresh air at them. It's it's China's only weakness. Oh, they can't breathe without the smog. I see. So there is tensions happening in the South China Sea, Vietnam, China, kind of getting a little spicy. But I guess the U.S. is still holding a grudge for the old L we took in the Vietnam War. I mean, just because Vietnam says we won doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> that's why. But as soon as we get the confirmation, I guess we're down to help. It's that simple. Last thing we need is some more chaos in the world. Please, South China Sea, chill. And big thanks to why am I doing this? dollars is a lot, a Drew. fat Norwal, Barnsky W, Drew's Argentinian Bring Grandpa, Chris 3773, Danny, Good Old Raya, I stole Drew's pet Jack dog, Bruni, Luxembourg Nation at Risk, Dortmund 5610, Robert E, Ron J, Rye, the, Pie, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, Twicken, Hampton, Viotic, Zany Boy, 